Hello and welcome back to MFAC Coaching. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. We're going to do a happy planner spread with a bunch of different types of stickers today. And I really love mail. I love, it's essentially Valentine's. Um, and I really wanted to do a spread that was all about getting packages and uh, mail. So letters, there we go, in the mail. So that's what I'm gonna do. And if that interests you, uh, I encourage you to stick around. <music> So as you can see, I have a bunch of stickers. It's kind of a mess here. I gotta figure out how I wanna organize them. So these things say like happy mail, fun things inside. I was thinking maybe of putting one of those um, over here. Um, we'll see, but that's my thought since that's kind of the, um, the, the theme for the spread is happy mail. And then maybe like down the side doing some different um, stamps, postage stamps, because I have these postage stamps from Pipsticks and these postage stamps from Mrs. Grossman. So I thought I would put those down the side with maybe some XOXO and then maybe one of these mailboxes. Um, they are just so cute with these letters. I just can't, can't with them. Uh, and then there's also these mail carriers. Um, and then there's different ways to create letters. So we've got pens and this super cute typewriter with all these flowers. So cute. There's also a door, like these different doors with mail and welcome. I, just, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to use them yet, but you can tell, I can tell you now they're going to be a spread somewhere on there with those doors. The snail mail revolution. How cute is that particular sticker? So we may add that. We've got some air mail stickers. These cats in the packages, the boxes are so cute. Also have a little mouse who's carrying, um, He's just like driving around with a little package, little mouse and a letter, dogs carrying letters, and then little gnomes carrying packages. But I think actually I'm gonna use this gnomes carrying packages for a different spread. Uh, so if you don't know, I actually do four spreads every week all on the same theme. That is currently how I have been uh, making things work. So that's, you see some holes. I've already done a spread with this theme. I can actually show it to you. It is in my silk and sonder. And it was, oh. so you can see the little, like I used a washi tape that kind of looks like that brown package material. Um, some ribbon is the, was the idea behind these different colored ribbons. Very colorful. And then I decorated the top and finally the sides. And I'll link uh, here a video to my Silk and Sonder for February. And you, so you can see how January works and February works and see if this is something that you would like. All right, but let's go ahead and start with this idea that I had to do some things down the center here. Now I said the center, it's not really the center, but luckily you all seem to always understand me. Just trying to decide now if I wanna carry something into this or not. And I don't think I do, I think I'll just let that be a place for me to write. All right, so now the next little scene I want to create. So I have, and I love the typewriter. 
But I feel like I want to make a whole spread about the typewriter. So maybe not for now. Let's stick with this being about letters and packages. And let's stick with one of these doors. Should probably do either the red or the pink, this pink door, just to maintain consistency in colors. I love that it says Mikasa. It's so cute. I think that's what we're, we'll do here. The question is, do I want to do this like welcome underneath? I think I do. I'm going to do a whole little thing here. All right. Well, while I get this set up, I just wanted to see what you guys were up to, how you guys are doing. Um, with the theme of vulnerability. Uh, and this week I wanted to talk specifically about this concept in psychology about reframing. So it's, um, it's of course not straight because I can't put a sticker down straight the first time ever. And I do not know why. Ooh, I can hear it. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. That's better. Okay. So reframing. Um, I am a huge fan of reframing. Uh, so even this month, like this month, my focus is going to be on vulnerability, but I want to really reframe that to talk about courage uh, and how being vulnerable, allowing yourself to be vulnerable is a form of courage. And the more you can kind of lean into that, um, just the better, like just, um, the healthier you'll feel, of course. Oh, how cute is that? Look at that little package in front of the door. Um, yeah, and so that in itself right there is a reframe. So when, in fact, you think about just telling yourself that courage is a form of like a, that vulnerability is a form of courage is a reframe in and of itself and how amazing truly amazing is that um and can you do that with other things in your life things that you are struggling with can you reframe them in such a way um can you think about it, talk about it differently so that you almost trick your brain into um, being okay with something that it originally wasn't okay with. Um, and a lot of times my number one suggestion for reframing, honestly, is to talk to a friend because it is very hard, not impossible, but it is very hard to do reframing on your own. It's a lot easier. There's something about having somebody else listen and talk to the story and tell you things that makes it just so much easier to find that reframe. Uh, so if you can talk to a friend, talk to somebody about what it is that you're struggling with and that right there is vulnerable it's it's super anxiety producing at least for me to share with people what my struggles are but by doing so if you can find a reframe life is oftentimes like that the act of sharing leads to the reframe and that is a reward in and of itself and so then you want to do it again so you make you just make that process better every time you try to do it 
think that is so cute. I'm also wondering, oh, he's big. He's bigger than I think he is. So he doesn't quite fit into boxes the way I want him to, but he does, he does. How cute is that little mouse? And I can even write like happy Valentine's day or something on that. I just really love that. I think he's really cute too, but he doesn't, I want to try and keep things a little smaller on this side to keep the proportions right. Um, may not work at a hundred percent, but I want to try. And then I have to figure out where I want to put some lines. So as you, um, because I always do lines on these spreads, but look how cute these are. This little, I could also just choose to do everything kind of in the middle. And then I can do some packs, some, you know, one of these gentlemen or women with some packages in the center. Or, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at this little dog carrying a package. Little dog carrying a package. Oh, so cute. Okay, I have to put that right there because I saw it. Oh, or look at this one. It's not facing the right way, but look at him wearing a little hat. Oh my gosh. So, so cute. I'm in love. Okay. Or I can do this like cute little wiener dog. Which you know is gonna win. Look at that cute little wiener dog. And then just for the fun of it, I can put this newspaper. I was gonna put it over here. Cause I don't wanna cover up the welcome. Yeah, that's cute. I like these little woof woofs, but I don't know that I really want to put them on the spread. I don't want anyone to look like they're kicking the dog. So maybe we'll do this person. Who it just has, who is delivering the mail. These little priorities, rush. Some of these are really cute. I think I'm gonna put them over here. Priority. This one says rush. Yeah, that that ooh, that was good. That that was needed over there. Cute little fragile. Loving these little Rainbows, stamps, just to fill the sky a little. This is literally just some um, all-purpose glue, nothing terribly exciting. Um, but I found that it just really works well to get things down like this. And yeah, so okay. Back to reframing. My number one suggestion, of course, is just to talk to a friend. Someone you trust, of course, not just anybody, but find someone you can trust to talk about um, to talk about whatever is going on for you. Ooh, I should call this planning with Lacey, because she is 
loud today for sure. And all right. There we go. All right, so the first suggestion is to talk to a friend. My second suggestion is to just ask, is it something that you can be okay with? So, and I, I, I apply this specifically to planning because a lot of times we really get, like some of us will get fixated on a specific problem, a specific issue, like I don't like, this part like i have a spread from last year where i can I still think about this one rose that i just think was too big and not in keeping with the rest of the spread and it like still like bothers me <laughs> um but i can reframe that and say like that's okay because now i will be more aware of what i like and of uh, proportion so you know, I'm not putting this one closer to over here because proportion, proportionately, he doesn't work with this door. This little mouse is too big for the door. Everybody else over here is proportioned correctly. Um, but, and these little letters could fly all the way over here and flip through that door and that's perfect. Um, but it doesn't, I'm okay with this little bit of difference because this mouse is just so cute and I really, I really like how this spread is coming together. So now what I want to do um, is find some boxes um, that I can put in a couple of these places and then um, put add some lines. I think I may add some lines first because I know where those are coming from. And I don't know exactly where the boxes are going to come from. So let me do that. So if the first step to reframing is talking to a friend, the second step of reframing is just asking yourself what you're okay with or what you can learn from it. Can you turn something that's a little harder into something good? Those are my first two suggestions. For reframing. And you'll notice like notice how you feel about those things about those suggestions. It can be very nerve wracking um, to um, kind of be vulnerable with friends like that. Um, and of course, you know, don't force anything. Like some things are just not, <laughs> some things are just not good and you just have to let that be okay. But when it comes to vulnerability, can you see it as a form of courage and then for those of you um you know who are harry potter fans can you imagine yourself being in gryffindor <laughs> uh, and isn't that the question i think i'm going to go ahead and do two back just right next to each other right here Give myself a little bit more space for a different type of box up there. So let me know what do you need to reframe this season or this month? Uh, if you are single and frustrated about that, how can you reframe being single? If you are not single, how can you, and, and um, maybe struggling in a relationship, how can you reframe that?
And of course, like some of the reframes are just kind of simple, right? Like I'm thinking, I'm sitting here thinking about the fact that like, I love snail mail. I hate being patient. I want my packages right now. Um, I placed an order for tea the other day and I knew that it was going to be delayed because they were very upfront about not having their employees work um, right before the storm. And that's great. Like I definitely respect companies that are um, that respectful of their employees. But, um, boy, am I impatient. I want my packages now. But I think one of the reasons that I do love mail, getting mail in, in the mail, is because it does force me to practice patience and to be gracious. Um, I'm always telling Lacey that we are so excited and so thankful for the people who drop off our mail um, because she yep, yep, yaps at them. And uh, while that is okay, I don't want her to do it either. I don't want her to yap at them. I think I will put a package of these cats and the packages down here because it's just so cute. Do you have to say I'm loving the opacity, is that the word? Opaqueness hmm. of these stickers because it just covers the black line and you can't really see the black line through it, which is very exciting. All right. I have the Colorful Dog sticker book, which I will be using in a few weeks. But with all the dogs on this spread, these two, I thought I would use one. Maybe this one, even though it's bringing in some other colors. But I think because they're so skinny and small, that's okay. Just put it right here. And then I want one right here. Okay, I'm gonna show yourself some love. All right, called that page, done. Although I say that now, I, I think I want one of these dogs. Maybe that one to overlap. How stinking cute, guys. I just can't with how cute he is. Oh, that is so cute. All right, so now I need something here and here. This one kind of fits with the mail, gives me some space, some additional space to write. Loving that. Just make sure there isn't another perfect. This is Hello Weekend. All right, I don't think so. I think this one's gonna be the best one. It does kind of look like a letter or package. Perfect. All right, we'll do this pencil. Just smack in the middle-ish here. Okay. I think we are done. Busier than I normally would do. More space to write than I necessarily need. Um, but I can write myself a little note, a little pep talk throughout the week, and I think it'll be really fun to use. So, all right. Thank you for sticking with me as I got through that. Easier said than done. Um, I'll put some links to the stickers, um, below and yeah, let me know. Um, again, so reframing, step one, see a friend. Step two, just see, um, ask yourself, 
almost like what the opposite is or what it is that you're working towards um, so that you can see it in just a different, better light. Uh, and those, that's my two-step process to reframing. Uh, I know it's easier said than done, um, but a lot of times like when you're vulnerable, when you're feeling uncomfortable, um, can you ask yourself if maybe that's a good thing? Um, and how is that a good thing? And that is oftentimes the reframe right there. Uh, so good luck with that. Thanks for sticking with it. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, have a great week, everyone. Bye.